Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to another Playwright tutorial. In this video, we are going to discuss how to integrate the Allure report in our existing code. Okay. So for that, of course, we need the version 1.13. Uh, so first of all, go to your package.json and here you can see that we have, we already have the um, Playwright test uh, and the Playwright version of 1.12.3. Three, right so now i have changed this to 1.13.0 make sure the playwright test as well as the playwright uh, version should be 1.13.0 okay and once you change the version just go to your uh, terminal control j to bring up the terminal and give npm i uh, that will download all the latest dependencies and along with that we'll get the latest chromium version that is version 93 and the firefox version 90 and the webkit version of 14 dot two i believe okay so once i uh, once you uh, do the changes you can see that the browsers are going to get downloaded already i have downloaded so it's just uh, updated the package so here you cannot see any download but in your case if you are doing it for the first time of course you will see that okay and apart from that also we need this experimental allure playwright if this is not there of course we cannot get the reporter okay so make sure you are going to add this this as well okay you can take a screenshot and probably you can make changes in your package.json or else check the description i will add all this dependency in the description okay and the name here is says like experimental because this is the initial release of allure report with playwright but definitely uh, in future it will change to allure dash playwright okay so the experimental will be removed uh, and you can get that in the npm packages as well okay that is uh, nothing but the npm packages website right you know that okay so first thing uh, we have to do the changes in the package.json then go to your playwright.conf.js file i mean ts file and there we are going to add one more uh, experimental feature in the reporter so already we know that in the reporter we have something like this right so we have this one like uh, the reporter the dot that is going to be visible in the console and json is nothing but the file here we get right test dot i mean test dash result dot json for that and now we are going to add one more array and within that we are going to specify the experimental allure playwright okay uh, all the codes you can get it from the description i will upload everything in the github okay that's it very simple this this is what we actually need okay now let's go to any of our test uh, so i'm not going to change anything on our test so here we have very simple uh, test using page object model and of course the fixture okay so here we have before each hook where we are getting our let code dot in uh, the website and then we have only one test and that is for login positive with the positive data and of course it should pass okay so now go back to your terminal and make sure you have mentioned that in your test match okay now i'm going to run this so npm uh, run test before that i'm going to delete the existing one so let me show you so already i have generated this one so i'm going to delete this so i don't have any folder called allure dash result as of now so let's go and check and let me close this one okay now i'm going to say npm then followed by run and then followed by test so that should uh, run our test and we can see a folder after the execution allure dash result again okay? i will tell you how to generate this so just let it be run first and our test is running and this is positive scenario of course it should get passed okay so let's wait until the browser get closed yeah so here you can see that one test pass and it took around like 17 seconds and here you can see that we have a folder called allure dash results right now let's go to the explorer and here you have the allure result folder now wherever you see this folder just go to the address bar and you can bring up your terminal command prompt basically and here you have to say like allure so okay so that will uh, generate the uh, xml files into a allure html reporter okay so here you can see that we are going to get this result folder so here we have the suites like number of based on number of files you have based on that that suites will create it and within that we have the chromium so chromium is nothing but the browser in the bro in the chromium browser we have run so that is what it says but i think that should be your test case uh, name but uh, maybe in later on version we i think there will be option to change this okay so if you click on the show all you can see that again we have the browser name and within that we have the folder that is fixture dot 
and the file name okay so that is what i have here in my editor if you see i have a folder called fixture and within this we have this test.ts right so we are running that and if you see here we can see that uh, number one that's why i have only one test and green means of course it's passed and it, you can see that it took around like 14 seconds and you might see like here we are getting 17 but here we are getting 14 so the difference is basically uh, it will calculate the time based on number of tests executed but here when we get the 17 second it basically consolidate like it generates the xml file it generates the json file everything right so for that it took around like another three seconds but mostly same only okay do not worry about it and here you can see that we don't have any screenshot or any other detail right now let's see how to uh, how the test report is going to look like for a negative scenario but before that uh, in my command prompt, I have said like Allure uh, serve, right? That is working because I have installed this dependency called Allure command line, okay? So just copy this Allure command line and go to your command from and you can install and give the dash G, dash G in the sense it's a global, right? So if you don't install that as a global, you cannot open that from any of the folder, okay? So make sure you are going to use the Allure command. I will leave a li link in the description. You can copy that from there, okay? So already it's there in my uh, system so i don't think i have to do it again but just to demo i have done this okay now let's go back and here i'm going to write another test so i'm just going to copy this and here i will make it as login negative and i'm going to pass some negative uh, data okay so here i'll just pass the password as wrong okay so we are expecting this test to be failed let's see if it's failed how the result is going to look like okay so i'm going to run the test again okay so this is the first one kaushik one at letco.in that is login success second one it should fail let's wait and see so it's running the second one and now it should get failed Okay, so it got failed and here you can see that uh, it failed because of the expected. So we expected a welcome message, but what we got is different. So that is the reason. Uh, so here you can see the error message, right? It basically failed. Now let's go back to our terminal, the command prompt where we have generated the uh, Allure. So I'm going to stop this, control C to stop this guy. And then again, say Allure serve that will uh, open, but Okay, if you don't have the dependency, you will see something like this. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, add the dependencies again. I think I have done something wrong with the dependency because I was trying to do two times. Okay, so dash G, I'm going to add the global flag. Okay, now you can see updated one package. Now it should work. So I can just use the Allure serve again. That should run my test report. Okay. Yeah, so here you can see that we have two test cases now and we got the graph like 50 50 percentage pass so if i go within the uh, featured by stories we can see that we have like two stories now one is the login positive and another one is the login negative so login positive uh, it's fine and the login negative you can see like what is the expected so we expected welcome but we got the error message saying that invalid um, does not have a password okay so we got the correct appropriate message that is cool but if there is a failure i want to get the screenshot or if there is for uh, all the past scenario if i want to get this uh, screenshot of course i can do that okay it's going to be very simple i'm going to stop this allure now okay now let's go back to our uh, test scenario i mean playwright conf here and here i'm going to say screenshot and then i'm going to say like I want to get on only on failure or off. Off is by default, it will not take screenshot. If you want to take for all the test, you can use the on. If you want to take screenshot only for the failures, you can use the only on failure. Okay, I'm going to use the on. So I just wanted to see everything. Uh, similar to screenshot also, we can use the trace here. So I can, I'm going to say like uh, only for failure. Okay, so I'm going to say only for failure. Um, Okay, written on failure. So if there is any failure, it will take the trace. Okay, let's go and see this now. Okay, so I'm going to bring up my terminal again and I'm going to run the test again. 2000 years later. Okay, so again, the test got failed and let's go to the Allure results again. Uh, instead of going to the folder, I mean, using the command prompt, we can create a bad file here. So 
based on the bat file bat file we can execute uh, the report okay so i'm going to create a new file and i'm going to say like uh, generate okay let's do this so generate a uh, report dot bat okay and bat is nothing but a batch file so here i'm going to say like alure so okay that's it now let's go to the file explorer and here we can see that we have a bat file i'm just going to double click on that and that should technically bring the same terminal with the alure serve command okay so here we can see the new report we have again the same but the beauty is now we can see the um failure okay so here you can see that on failure we got the trace.zip but for the past report we don't have the trace.zip but for both the scenario i have given the screenshot i mean i have configured the screenshot so here we can see the uh, screenshot like why it's getting failed so here you can see the error message the password is invalid right so that is what expected so in this way we can able to get the screenshot and the trace file as well so you know already like what is the use of trace file so i'm not going to get into that uh, if you want to know more about it you can check my trace video where i have explained it in a good way okay so that's really good uh, that's all what we have from the allure report it's a very basic reporter as of now but i think it's really good and it's an initial version so as of now we do not have any support for like test dot uh, steps report uh, reporting like allure test report that we already discussed in our just reporter just allure reporter but that is not available in playwright as of now but as i said earlier it's a initial version so of course we can uh, see in the future okay and one more thing we know that uh, allure report cannot be shared directly because of the cross origin policy uh, but for that i have already made a video where i have used the uh, netflix or netlify where it's like online server so we can host all our files there and then we can see the reporter okay i will leave a link in the description you can check that video uh, if you want you can use it okay and one more doubt will be like can we group this test right so we have function called test dot um, describe right so i'm going to do that so i'm going to cut this and here i'm going to say like test dot describe and within this i'm going to paste my code okay so it's going to be exactly same i just i don't see any differences but we have grouped that based on the uh, scenarios okay so now let's go and uh, run again hopefully it should bring the same result i believe let's see okay so the test ruler we got now let's go and uh, open this so i'm going to say like generate not this one so generate report okay i cannot able to do it from this one um okay let's go to the file explorer or not folder let's go to the file explorer and i'm going to click on this bat file again so that i can get my reporters okay so here you can see that we got now four test cases why four um okay actually it is wrong uh it's not wrong actually actually uh, it took the previous result as well so this this is basically my previous one and this is the new allure report for login so here we have the describe block and within that we have the test okay if i have deleted the existing result probably it won't happen but uh, yeah okay so anyways the both are going to be same so you can group based on your scenarios or you can just use like this as well okay so nothing is going to uh, change much difference okay so that's it uh, pretty good so finally we got the reporter and i'm very happy for this because you know in most of my fixture video i said that the only thing i missed is basically the reporter and i'm glad that playwright team has uh, bought that feature for us okay uh, now let me give you a quick recap so uh, make sure you are going to follow the exact same or you might end up in some kind of issues if if you have feel free to ask me in the comment i will try my best to give you answer okay so go to your package.json and make sure you are going to update the 1.13.0 and here also 1.13.0 okay and apart from that we need this experimental allure playwright and the version is 0.0.3 okay once we are done with the three of the dependencies just go to your command prompt or the terminal and install all the dependencies okay then next thing go to your playwright config.ts file and add one more array where we have to say like exper experimental allure dash playwright okay and if you want to get the screenshot in the reporter you can uh, give this 
screenshot within the use and then trace if you want to use the trace file okay that's it uh, other than that everything is going to be exactly same whatever we have learned so far okay with that said uh, see you in the next one very soon tada bye bye take care